Hi, welcome to 100% LCFC. My name's Phil, and I thought I'd go live after we've just watched that match. A lot of you have either listened to it on the radio, watched it. As you can see, I've not been to the match today because I've had other commitments on earlier on in the day. So, long way to get to Palace, and I couldn't manage to get there today. Um, hi, Ryan is watching. What did you think to that, Ryan? If you managed to watch it or listen to it, or if you're at the match, get your comments in. So, it's Baz. What do we think? Um, we've been holding off doing it. I know a lot of you are going to be saying pull out, so that's fine if you want to say it. Um, I'm still still going to say pull in. Struggling to say it at the moment. Um, Alan Morris, it, Alex, sorry, Morris, first one in there to say Claude the Fru, get him out, had enough now, that's fine. Jason is watching, Jason, part of the 100% um, content team. Jason, no, you're not a fan of Claude Pool. I think I'm right in saying that. So let us know, put the views in. Neil, who comes on the fan zone with us quite regular, is putting a sad face on there. Callum is saying, get that clown out. Goodness me. Stephen Price, hi for watching. Thanks, if you can like and share this, that's always brilliant. Thanks, guys. Um, Jason is saying, Jason Whale is saying, yeah, very frustrating. Graham is saying, it's awful, he's had enough. Listen, that was pretty dull. The thing that frustrates me at the moment is... It's just not, it's not even entertaining, is it? I, it's like, yeah, dull. We had a lot of possession in that second half, didn't we? Vardy obviously had the chance where the keeper just, just manages to get a save, hits it onto the post, and it comes out just right for the keeper. But the keeper's probably earned the right to get a bit of a lucky rebound off the post, hasn't he? Um, why did we bring Okazaki on with two minutes to go? What, what was that about? You know, it's like... Again, I, we put a comment out with about 25, 30 minutes to go going, plan B, plan B, plan B. There is no plan B. And when plan A doesn't work, we seem to try and replace plan A with with a inferior version of plan A. It, it just doesn't... It looked like Morgan was playing up front for a little bit or trying to get a bit further forward. Um, uh, nearly saying, could I see where the goal was going to come from? Not really. Um... Inacho, when he came on, he put one nice ball through to Vardy, didn't he? That Vardy nearly scored from, that we were talking about. But in that, some of Inacho's touches were not great. And I know it was wet out there. Listen, hey, it was pretty pretty poor conditions to be playing a game out there. Uh, Paul Rafferty is saying it was a poor selection. Stephen Halsham is saying it was absolutely terrible. Get the comments in. Let us know what you think was doing, what, what was wrong today. I can tell you what I think, but I'm interested to hear what you guys think. Um, Kev is just saying, I'm going to read this out. Kev's saying, if we lose, let me get back to that. If we lose to Man City on Tuesday, it's no, it's a no-brainer. Not a pure hater, but things must change. I, I think, Kev, I said it earlier while I was watching some of that. I absolutely agree. I think, I think the game against Man City is a cup, is obviously a cup match on Tuesday. I think it's a must-win game, if you ask me, on Tuesday for multiple reasons. Because while we're still just about, I've not seen the table. I've not seen the other results, so I've not looked at the table. I don't know where we are in it, but obviously we'll have dropped down. Um, but while we're still mid-table, I would say, at the moment, and in the, you know, if we were to beat Man City and you say you're in the semi-finals of a cup, I, I think there's enough there to give Puel some breathing space, just. But Kev Cartwright saying if we lose on Tuesday, it's a no-brainer. Uh, I think you've got a great point there. Uh, good season if we're fourth from bottom, says Tahara. Uh, Steve Shepherd is saying relegation form. How long are we putting up with this? Take the blinkers off. In interesting views. I know that was going to be a what a lot of people are thinking. It's hard sometimes to try and keep backing Pule, which is what I'm trying to do. Back Leicester, back Pule, give him chance. I just, I'm going to bring it up again. And I know we've had this conversation before many, many times. What do you think to the transfers we keep buying over the last couple of years? I mean, Gazelle, do you, does anybody rate Gazelle particularly today? Um, it seems like we buy one, like we bought Madison and he, he looks pretty decent. Although, we, why did we take Madison off today? Isn't he like one of the people who might create a chance? I said to some of the content guys at half time that it's like we've got Mendy and Diddy, and I know a few people were moaning about Mendy again today, but we've got Mendy and Diddy are like a solid midfield. But there's nothing in the middle of the park to create anything. Madison's playing ahead of where the action is. Uh, Tony Fish saying get him out. Puel out saying lucky 13 tips. Steve Finch saying are you still backing Puel to me? 
do you know I am? But I'm struggling. I am struggling, Steve, because I want to back him. I, I think knee-jerk reactions is difficult. And I don't think, personally, I don't think we're in a particular massive mess. I just think his style of play is boring. He has one plan, and that seems to be it. He seems to pick and mix who's in the team and playing to that plan. It's There's no... I say it all the time. Why is there no plan B? We are one nil down away at a pretty poor Palace side who were missing Zaha, missing their their keeper was uh, uh, was injured out yesterday through some sort of injury. So it was they're not a great side, Palace. We should be doing a lot better. David Gavin, hi David, hope you're well. Saying basically, Phil, it's down to the quality of players. Frustrated, Gazelle wasn't bad, but N Nacho did nothing. I, I don't think Gazelle was very good. Manager doesn't play to the player's strength, saying Catham, uh, sorry, uh, Callum. Just how frustrating must Jamie Vardy be that he gets nothing? He's back in the team today. I thought Vardy got no service, got nothing through. We're still playing these big balls into the box at times from the wingers. There's nobody because there's nobody of any size to get in there. Uh, get Maguire up front. It worked for Walshie, says Dara. Yeah. Uh, Fuchs did well today, says Baz. Uh, Tony Fish is saying run the poll. <laughs> I don't know. Do you want us to run the poll? Look, this is 100% LCFC. Yes, I'd, I'd admin it with all the other guys. But if you guys want the poll running, just put it in there. Say yes, run the poll and I'll run it. I don't want to because I don't want to be a shit stirrer, if I'm honest. That's what I don't want to do. Um, Mark Gatwood saying poor conditions. The Palace won. Uh, Puel out poll, says Tony Fish. Who's going to be the next manager, says Paul Bentley. Uh, Andy May, thanks Andy May. Mark Gatwood, all saying 11th. So did Craig Pearson, thanks for letting us know. So we're 11th, so we're officially in the bottom half of the table now. I still come back to that's bottom half of the Premier League is still better than over 50% of most Leicester City seasons. Um, Stephen Price is saying he was in support of Pure, but last few games he's lost the plot. And I don't support the manager now. Anybody feel like we're talking about Brexit at the same time we're talking about Claude Puel? Uh, Richard Lowe saying he's got to go. Neil is saying we can do better, but will Puel change? It's just, it to me, I don't know what you think. There is no plan B, is it? It's just plan A. And then when plan A doesn't work, take off some players and, and carry on playing plan A. But with players who you didn't think were good enough to start the match. So therefore you're finishing with an inferior team to that that started but still playing the same sort of formation. Brett is saying, get rid now. Callum is saying, I'm so glad I did not go today. A complete joke, not happy. I've got to be fair, Callum. I feel really sorry for the thousands of Leicester fans who did go all the way. Palace, I've been to Palace before a few times. It's, a, it's an awful journey to get to. It takes bloody hours. And in that, the weather, the dark, it's Christmas time nearly, the shopping, it's just... Feel sorry for the Leicester fans when you have to watch that. It was painful enough either watching or listening it when you're in the comfort of your own home, isn't it? Um, Mark Hunt is saying, Puel out, enough of this boring sideways and backwards football. Anybody know the stats on how many chances we actually created today? I'm trying to remember much more than Vardy's. Well, here's something else for you that's so annoying, is Ndidi had a chance and Damari Gray had a chance where the ball is bobbling about probably five or six yards outside the area. So not the easiest ones and not easy in this weather, but their shooting was absolutely rubbish at times. We only had a couple of chances. And again, you're watching it and you're going, I'd be, if I did that on a Sunday league match, I'd, you'd get the mickey took out of you by everybody else on your team going, that was rubbish. And these are Premier League players on 30, 40, 50, 60 grand a week. And I know it was wet, so there's your excuse. But come on, guys, shooting practice, that's what we train for a week. You get a ball, I think it was Gray, who just, it sat there lovely. And he, it must have been 10 yards high and 10 yards wide. It, it was rubbish. And even in the rain, you'd have the mickey took out of you if you did that in a Sunday league match. Anyway, uh, please change the formation, saying Matt Nurse. It doesn't work, one shot all game. I don't get Gray's role today. No, I'm not sure, was Gray a winger? Was he meant to be playing up top? Richard Lowe saying boring, boring football. Chris Ward is saying we need a goal scorer in January. I agree. We need a goal scorer and we need a plan B goal scorer, if you, if you ask me. Uh, Owen is saying team changes every week. A couple of injuries, I think, today. but And I actually thought their goal was a decent goal. I know a few people have grumbled at Mendy and said that Mendy was slow coming out. But 
for me, sometimes you have to just think, their player had a great, it was a great shot, he put it right in the corner. Casper couldn't do much with it, I don't think. Um, <laughs> yeah, thanks. Imtiaz is loving the shirt. Well, a bit of walkers, I've gone a bit retro today. Um, it's actually, <laughs> some of you will like or hate this, but you wait till you see. This is, this is actually an old shirt. I think it's a match-worn shirt from back in the day. Can you see that? Robbie Savage. Do you know what we could do with a bit of Robbie Savage in there at the moment for Leicester? Because I'm, I'm struggling to see the bite from Leicester and the who's taking control of the team. Um, James Hall is saying poor man Marez. I think you're talking about Gazelle. Chris Dunkley is saying he's got to go before Tuesday, if you ask me. I'm sure he will not go before Tuesday. Um, Matt Bryan is saying and Diddy was Palace's best player. Owen is saying Madison was awful. David Horn is saying, let's get him out, but who is there going to be to replace him? This is the thing. I'm, I've just had a debate with my one of my lads who's saying, get Rafa in, get Rafa in. I'm like, why is Rafa going to come to Leicester? Newcastle have got every chance of being bought out and having money injected to them. I just don't think Rafa's going to come to Leicester. So who would? That is exactly what David Horn is saying. Who would you get in to replace him? And you can all put Rafa in there, but who else? Who would you go for? Bit of positive... From me, says David, Gazelle was excellent when he came on. Really? I didn't see that. Let me know. I, maybe maybe we just see different things in players. I didn't see much from Gazelle today. I'm not sure I rate him. £13 million for Gazelle. Where's Diabati? Again, this is what I'm saying. Who are these players we sign? And then let, let's, let's pick Madison. Generally, I think we're all going to say he's been a great success this season. Gazelle, jury's out for me. I don't rate him. Um... Who else have we had? Debate not making the team. Soyunku not making the team. Benkovic on loan at um, Celtic. Silva doesn't get in the team. Ibora doesn't get in the team. Slimani's out on loan. Musa's come and gone. Who's signing these players? Who is signing these players? That is my frustration at the moment. When we've got just listed seven or eight players there and we haven't got a plan B. Somebody said, stick Ibora on up top. Try it. Just try it. That's, you know. Uh, we're 11th, says Craig Thursby. We're 11th. Taking Madison off is madness to me. Why isn't Ibora playing? That's just what I was saying, Craig. Uh, Peter Darston is saying silver. I'm not seeing enough of him, but I don't rate what I've seen, is the honest. Gazelle is so average, says Cully. Called Cooley. Cully? Cully? Paul? Anyway. And no striker back up. Yeah, nothing. I mean, Okazaki and Inacho are rarely going to come on and get you a goal, are they? Um, Puel has had enough chances, says Dara, in the transfer market. No creativity. Get drink water in for six months. Totally agree with you on that. I would definitely get drink in on loan in, in January. And anybody, any Leicester fans who are a bit bitter because he went and joined uh, the champions of England at the time, Chelsea, and got paid more. I don't get that. That's fine. He went, like most players do, for more money and more chance of medals. And it hasn't worked out for him. And he's available, and we need somebody, in my books, like Drinkwater. Get him in. Get back to counter-attacking football. Get the ball to Vardy quicker. And let's get on. We've got the players who can play that game. Um, Sean is agreeing. Get Drinky back. Drop Mendy. And then we have some creativity. Yeah, Mendy and Ndidi today. Again, they're, they're decent at solidness to an extent, although you could blame M D Mendy for, for their goals slightly. I don't, but I've seen some people have. They're solid, but they'll do nothing creatively. They'll get the ball and then they'll just pass it. And half the time, they pass it back to Maguire, who has to go forward. Um, Mike Trotter is saying the entire backroom staff, the people that make the signings, need overhauling too. All these signings, just go through them. Go through them all at... Soyunku doesn't get in the team. Benkovic, Gazelle, um, Diabate, Silva, Ibora, Slimani, Musa, Kramaric. There's so many signings we've made in the last three or four years. And you can look at the success stories and you can go, I mean, look at that team that was playing out there today. Success that we bought looks like Madison and Pereira. I quite like what I see from Pereira, Ricardo Pereira. I think he's decent. But that's, over this summer, that seems it. Soyuncu, Benkovic, Debate. you know, what are we doing with these signings? 
Puel out, says Steve Mosley. Neil says, I want to back Puel, but it's not making it easy at the moment. Neil, that is exactly how I feel. I'm backing Puel. I'm going to say it again. I'm still backing Claude Puel. I hope we beat, hope we turn up. Hope to God he plays the first team against Man City. Because God, I, I think that'll be the sort of, for those, of, for those of us who are backing Claude Puel at the moment, I think that's the sort of thing where if we put out anything like not the strongest 11 against Man City on, on Tuesday, that'll frustrate me. You know I'm still crossover last year's Man City quarterfinal where we could have beat them. But we put we they put out their beating. Fine, let them do that. They're in the Champions League last sixteen last year and this year. We're not, so let's go for it. We've got no reason to rest players on Tuesday. Not one reason to rest a player on Tuesday. So please let's not do it. Um, Sam Farrar is saying we need positive football and results against teams around us. <laughs> Aggie is saying Aggie for Earth is saying Puel out. Don't keep sticky up for him. I'm trying to give him time because. I'm just trying to give him time, Maggie. That's that's what it is. He's had a season we're around mid table. I can't say top half anymore because we're not. We're, in, we're 11th, and we're in the quarterfinals of the cup. So I'm still keeping backing him myself, Maggie. But I get it. A lot of people aren't. Um, Tony Hurdy saying it's like hoping toothache is going to stop. We're trying to put round plugs in square holes. Aaron Mystery saying what plan? Uh, Owen Wellband is saying, I agree, Gazelle was all right for a change when he came on. Okay, that's fine. A few people have said that. Maybe, what did you think about Gazelle? I thought he was like completely average. I thought Inacho didn't do anything. Okazaki only had 68 seconds to try and impact on anything. We didn't try and put a defender up top or did Morgan try and do it for a little bit? I don't know. Um, Chris Atko is saying, what a day. Yeah, not, not pleasant again. Don Cole, hi Don, watching from the States. Uh, if we can't beat Crystal Palace, who is without Zaha and Tompkins and Benteke. Yeah, I know, Don, I agree. It was like that they were in the bottom three, I think, at the start of the day. It was totally there for us to win today. And we just did not take that chance at all. Um, Martin Jerome is saying, out before you waste January transfer budget on more rubbish. I'm not sure it's the manager at Leicester buys any of the players at all. Even not just pure. I'm talking about Shakespeare. I'm talking about Ranieri. I'm talking about Pearson. I don't think the managers are buying these players, if I'm honest. I think it's it's the management in the club buy them and then the and then the the coaches, people like Puel, have to like try and do what they want with them. I'm sure they have a bit of a say in it, but I'm not sure that he's going out and they're they're buying these players. Um Yusuf is saying it's not about playing well or having attempts off target. Yeah, we're winning more than not. Richard Lowe is saying he was rubbish at Southampton and he's rubbish at the KP, got to go. I don't think, I think this is like Brexit in the fact, I don't think fans are going to agree on Puel um, at all. Although a lot of the comments today, I don't know if it's all Puel out comments from people because people are cross and they just come out. But it's fair enough. Mike Jenner saying Puel out, that's done it. I can't protect him anymore. Puel out. Uh, I... Mike, I'm struggling struggling to defend him again after today because apart from the fact there was no plan B, it was beyond dull again and very few chances. Two shots, says Simon Webb. Paul Puella out, two shots in 90 minutes. Disgusting. Hopefully he refunds every one of those fans who went. I feel sorry for the fans who went. I'm sat, up, sat watching and listening and in the nice warmth. Uh, Michael Wheatley is saying bring Drinky back then. That would be what I would do. Certain players seem to have lost faith, saying Mark Gatwood. I don't know, is that the case? Are some players just not wanting to play for him? Is that just speculation, Mark? Um, Kieran is saying, if I, if I see us cross the ball in again, I'm going to shoot myself. May as well stick Morgan and Maguire up front. Yeah, we, we're playing this game down the wings and getting balls into the box, but that's not Vardy's game. Vardy's game is, is suck them into our half and then boom, hit them fast, put it over the top. Is it? Vardy plays like Gary Lineker used to do. Just pop the ball over the back of the defenders and Vardy will outpace, still at his age, 31 or whatever, Vardy will still outpace most defenders and get a shot off. But if you don't give him that ball ever in a match, and I can't remember him having one of those today, if Vardy isn't given that ball, he's never going to score like that, is he? He had one sniff today and hit the, bar, hit the post. It was unlucky. Um, Brett is saying Pules hold dem dem demeanour well done for spelling that right. I can't say it right. Puel's whole demeanour 
makes it difficult for the players to inspire the players. I agree, it doesn't, doesn't really inspire anybody. Uh, Justin Rose is saying, such a frustrating game to watch when you can't beat Palace and you've got problems. Scott Silver is saying, and did he gave the ball away loads? He did, didn't he? It wasn't great again, and did he? Between and did he and Mendy, not quite as good as they have been on times. Um, taking Madison off at half time, strange one. Phil Barnes is saying, can't stress it enough, get red. Chris Ward is saying, yes, run the poll. Do the poll, says Chris Dunkley. Puel out, says Dale Hines. Near enough a full side out, says Neil Bennett, and still struggled. I'm sc So many comments. Thanks for all the comments. I'm just, wow, wow, wow. So many comments. I'm, I'm literally, I am scroll. You see, when you see my finger, I'm scrolling through so many comments on screen. Um, so I'm catching hundreds of comments in this. I'm literally going up to the late, the last comment I can see. The newest one is Jason Clare. Good Jason saying Puel. Oh, yes, Jason. I know you're not a Puel fan at all. Uh, Terry Payne is saying toothless with no heart. No guts, no hope. I've never wanted a manager to go, but I do this one, is saying Terry. It looks like we're going to run this poll, but I just wonder whether we, we hold fire until after the Man City game. I'm just trying to back him, trying to back him till that. Uh, Craig Simpson is saying, bring Drinky back and Vardy might get the ball over the top. Um, could we end up in a relegation battle, says Tony. I don't see it, Tony. I think there's way worse teams than us. Um, but saying that, we just played one of them today and they beat us, so... Who knows, Matt Rudkin is saying we're playing two defensive midfielders against Palace, says it all. Gray had the chances today, but lacked the ability, says Mark Gatwood. I agree, that's what I was saying. One of those shots outside the area was absolutely rubbish. And I know it's wet, but sometimes I think, could I have done that? And I think, yeah, I could have, I could have loved that ball like he did. Um, David Brown is saying it's a disgusting performance. Um, Puel out. Matt Burn, Brian Burn, am I saying that right? Saying waste of, of time, poll, running poll. Surely everyone has had enough now. It's, I'm start, starting to feel, guys, like I'm the only one saying I'm still backing Puel, if I'm honest. Um, Terry Payne is saying he's tried to back Puel, but no longer play to our strengths. I, Terry, that's how I feel. I just you're starting, You get to a point where you think, oh, come on, we're mid-table. Last eight of the cup at the moment. That's why I say come, come 10 o'clock on Tuesday if we're out that cup and come 7 o'clock on Tuesday if he's picked what isn't an, an A-team uh, starting lineup. I think they could be the final bits in his, his tenure at the club, maybe. Um, if you can like and share this video, that's great. Thank you for that. Keep, oh, there's so many comments coming in. Stephanie Berry is saying, get Puel out. Said it from day one, the man has no clue what he's doing. Neil Bennett is saying, it's the Puel hokey cokey. In, out, in, out, shake it all about. Uh, Chris Ward is saying, bring back Nigel Pearson. Look, I'm, I was quite a big Nigel Pearson fan, but I'm not, I know, I don't think we should bring Pearson back. Um, what can be defended, says Mark Lockwood. Puel out, he's destroying us. I think that's harsh. I'm going to be honest. I think that's harsh saying he's destroying us. But it is sucking the life out of Leicester fans, I think. I'll give you that. It's, it's not much fun at the moment watching that, is it? Martin Jarrett is saying it'll take a miracle to beat City on Tuesday. Matt Glover is saying out the cup this week and going down the table. David Brown is saying we were disgraceful. What, who do you blame, David? Do you blame the players for that performance? Do you blame Puel for picking the team? I... <sighs> Where'd you go with that, David? What do you reckon? Who are you blaming with that? Um, so many comments coming in, that's great. <laughs> Imtiaz is saying, Jamie from the Fox's Arms is going to be in hiding tomorrow. Jamie said he's going to need... Look, I've got, I've got my Santa hat here because we should be feeling all Christmassy. I think he's going to need a tin hat, isn't he? Jamie's going to need a tin hat. And you can forget Santa. I feel like the Christmas Grinch after today's performance anyway. Uh, so I'll pass that on to Jamie that he best get ready for tomorrow morning's live, which is at 10 o'clock, all the way from Alcudia, the Fox's Arms, where Jamie Preston is bringing you the Fox's Aftermath show. We look forward to that. I'm going to be tuning in myself, watching, commenting. Uh, <laughs> good luck, Jamie. That's good luck. Um, Paul Vernon is saying, no belief in the side, all the fans under Puel. No chance of any wins in the next three games against... Yeah, we're playing tough... This is the thing. We've been playing Fulham and Watford and we've played Wolves and we've played um, today Palace. We've, 
we've only played a few of the big sides. So we've got, we've got some tough matches coming up, haven't we? Uh, we've got Chelsea and Man City and Everton away over the Christmas period. They're the ones that are springing to my mind. Uh, Lee Marie Springthorpe is saying um, O'Neill's blue and white armour. I mean, my, Martin O'Neill era shirt uh, and Marie. What do you think? He is free, isn't he? Martin O'Neill. Would you have Martin O'Neill? Martin O'Neill back. Dara is saying, yes, get Martin O'Neill back. Um, really interesting one. I remember when we signed Pearson back for the second time, there was all this talk that they were going to get their man. And I, never, I always thought at the time, the way that we were referring to who they were hoping to sign then was Martin O'Neill and not Nigel Pearson. So I th my understanding is that Top's first match watching Leicester as a kid was the 97, this one, the 97 match, uh, League Cup replay up at Hillsborough. And that was, of course, under Martin O'Neill. So he does hold him in high regard. <laughs> I'm reading James Hall. I'm not reading that one out, James Hall, trust me. Um, <laughs> you can't say that. John Oliver is saying apparently the ex-Monaco manager is rumoured to be next. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. O'Neill and Keane saying Matt Byrne. Crikey, rock it up the arse, says Matt. You would be right, wouldn't you? Where's all, all this suddenly coming home? Matt, Matt O'Neill. Sorry, Matt Glover saying O'Neill is coming home. Jerry Worsley. Jerry Wesley or Weasley? Is saying, I think I may have to give up on backing Puel. I hear what you're saying, Jerry. I'm trying to back Puel. I'm trying to back him, but struggling. Um, Paul Williams is saying, this is karma for sacking the best manager we could have ever had. Talking about Claudio Ranieri. I hear what you're saying there. Anyway, listen, that's it. That's post-match. Fans not happy. Keep your eyes peeled. Will I run this poll or not? I don't know. I don't know if I should. I know all you lot want to do it. So maybe for you guys, I'll run it and we'll just see what the fallout of it is. Get your votes in on that if it goes up shortly. I'm still wrestling with my conscience, but tune in at 10 a.m. tomorrow for Jamie from the Fox's Arms live in the Fox's Aftermath show. It's always a great watch. Don't forget, like and share this video. It'd be great. Subscribe to 100% LCFC live. Thanks as ever to all the sponsors, Everard's, ADT, Peter's Pizzas, Hologram, Fox's Arms, and a big shout out to Loros, who we're helping support as a charity at the moment. Um, Bradley Norman is saying, Phil, read me the message. I'm trying to find it, Bradley. Can't find it. So many comments. Thank you for everybody. Carl Cole says, do the poll. Do the poll. All right, I'll go and do it. Let's have a look. Get your votes in when it goes up. God help us. From me, Phil, 100% LCFC. See you all later.